Hey, 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 good morning everyone. Wednesday morning, the 6th of January, 2021. This morning's devotion is a reading from Philemon chapter 1, verses 1b and 2. And they read, To Philemon, our dear friend and fellow worker, to Ophar, our sister, to Archippus, our fellow soldier, and to the church that meets in your home. Today, we have a look at the unknowns. Have you ever done a work in the background and never received any recognition for it? I'm thinking here of the people who move in the background of ministry, hospitals, at work, in our homes. Those who keep the wheels turning as it would be the unsung heroes of life. Well, today I would like us to have a look at Archippus. I'm not too sure about the pronunciation, but I'm trying very well, very hard. He's one of the unsung heroes of Scripture. He receives a little commendation from Paul. He's called a fellow soldier. After that, nothing more is known about this person. He does, however, get some more encouragement from Paul in Colossians chapter 4, verse 17, where Paul writes, Tell Archippus, see to it that you complete the work you have received in the Lord. Here is a person who received an assignment from the Lord or had some special calling placed on him. This calling or work was not self-assigned, but rather it was given to him by the Lord. In writing this, Paul includes Archippus in the letter to possibly encourage him to continue in the work given to him. Maybe there had been a setback of some sort. What was the setback? Well, this we don't know. Scriptures are very quiet about that. But we can only speculate. But looking at ministry as a whole, I often see this happening. We start off full of enthusiasm and then we meet with that roadblock called fear. Fear that we are perhaps unworthy of the task. Perhaps it could be an unwillingness to pay the price in the form of strained relationships or even persecution. Perhaps it could be because life is allowed to get in the way. Even worse still, it could be because people bring up the past, saying what they do when they dredge up the past, and ever so forcefully remind you that you are not qualified to do what you are doing. If allowed, these roadblocks become killers of ministry, and many fall by the wayside. My dear friends, let us not become discouraged. If you have received your calling or ministry from God, then we need to persevere with it. He will support you and help you to bring it to fulfillment. Because, as is written in Philippians chapter 1, verse 6, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. The world is full of unsung heroes, and the world does not even notice them until they are gone. But God does not miss a thing. He sees all the work that is done and rewards accordingly. We may not receive recognition here on earth, but we shall receive recognition from God. We need to persevere and fulfill the ministry that we have received in the Lord. To those who are overlooked by others, I commend you and thank you for the work that is being done, because without you, life would be a whole lot more difficult. We need to obey the Lord at all times, and we need to know this, that He will bless us, probably in ways that we will never, ever expect. With those words, my prayer is, may the Lord be with you, may He bless you, may He cause His face to shine upon you, and be with you always. Goodbye.